excuse the mess and the guest, but this is what two weeks off grid looks like. Uh, destination this round is Iceland. So I'm just gonna start over here in the private section here. Um, this is my favorite travel bag. Bag all these compression cubes really allow you to get a lot more gear into every bag. I use the Osprey 46 liter, I believe. Uh, that bag has been around the world multiple times and continues to perform um, many years later. So ex officio, I like these. They're easy to wash. You can wear them in the shower and wash them, hang them up to dry, and they're good to go. I've got my workout stack, 10X Grand Cardone. I've got a pair of shorts to wear into the um, lagoons. Uh, it's going to be these will be ruined from uh, the the uh, minerals, and then a pair of uh, hotel workout shorts. I've got socks here. I love the uh, smart wool and also the right socks with two layers, especially we're going to be doing a lot of hiking and these just help with blisters. Uh, some of these will just get left behind as a sort of a, a debris of travel, if you will. Uh, mostly long sleeve, lightweight shirts, some uh, Patagonia's ex officios here. Uh, one reasonably nice shirt for going out in the uh, city capital of Reykjavik. My Patagucci puffy coat, of course, and then uh, this is a Mountain Gear stretchy raincoat, super thin, lightweight, easy to compress on down. This I'm bringing with, it's a uh, cooler bag. We'll pack this with some gear, but we'll be picking up some uh, items when we leave uh, Keflavik on our way through Reykjavik and around the Ring Road. And so just a little bit of a way to keep a little bit of food in the car and cut down on the exorbitant expenses that is well known as Iceland travel. Masks and uh, some sanitizer. Of course, I don't want to pick up COVID on the way there. That happened uh, a couple months ago. Not fun at all. Son got COVID coming back from one of his trips as well. Bathroom bag gear supplements. Hand grip squeezy. I love to climb and I'm not going to be climbing for several weeks. So this is just a way to maintain forearm and grip strength. I talked about these in the other video. These will cover up light sources in hotel rooms, alarm clocks, microwaves, phones, etc. Just allowing a block out of ambient light and uh, improve quality of sleep. My food bag, if you will, full of uh, some athletic greens, AG1 supplements, and some nuts. I, th I think I'll bring these with. I'm not sure if they still hand these out on long haul flights, but uh, just a mask and some uh, simple things to uh, make the overnight a little bit better. There's my tech stack that I covered in the previous video. I've got the noise canceling Bose headset here. I've got the AirPod Pros here. I'm bringing my uh, iPad in lieu of my MacBook. My MacBook will go on the first leg of the journey and then be left behind. Uh, this is the tech stack I showed in the previous video. All the uh, gear that I need for uh, staying connected, particularly areas with poor signal is in there, including my Garmin watch. A little steel bag. This is going to hold my uh, black diamond gloves. These I can use when holding my phone for videos and phones. A very thin smart wool reversible hat. Uh, this is just a waterproof bag. Rain prediction is about 70% of the trip is going to be rain, which we anticipated. I believe I talked about this in a brief short. This is just part of a foam roller that I cut off. And uh, if any of you have kinks in your neck or back, there's going to be a lot of drive time and plane time on this trip. And so this is just a simple way to uh, roll, if you will, while you drive you're using the hotel. And even just a little bit of lumbar support, depending on what kind of rental car we get. And then last uh, but not least... Uh, pants. Oh, I forgot this. Sorry, sorry. These are compression socks. Um, what happens when a person sits for a prolonged period of time, the blood pools in the veins of the lower leg and can predispose to blood clots. So these little guys I used to wear these when I did triathlons and, and some marathons, just a compression of the calf veins along with uh, taking an aspirin. I'm not giving you medical advice, but that's what I do. And uh, that's just a simple way to uh, help with uh, blood clots. Got two buffs here, and then these are all black diamond. They're all exactly the same pants. Uh, they're a little bit stretchy. The, they have great pockets in them. They're very comfortable uh, for, for traveling on the plane and for out and about when we're um, exploring. And then, of course, I've got the rain gear here. I've got a pair of over-the-top black diamond pants. They're kind of bulky and, and snowsuit-like, if you will, but easy to slip on and off over these when getting in out of the car. And then this is just a pair of stretchy black diamond climbing pants. Uh, in the event that uh, I find a place to climb, I'll probably take, partake in that. But I like these because they can be cinched and adjusted around the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, or the top of the boot, if you will. This is gonna go into the Osprey and then I'm gonna show you my footwear here in a second. These are the uh, two pieces of footwear I'm gonna be bringing. These will be uh, worn uh, primarily uh, out and about in the city. These are v um, Vivo Barefoot. These compress down into nothing. They're, they're made of recyclable rubber 
and I've had these for I think six years and uh, they're still performing well. Got some decent grip and there's tons of miles on these guys. These are the newer edition Solomon waterproof um, mids and uh, they're fairly lightweight but they obviously don't compress down into anything so unfortunately I'm probably gonna have to wear these on the plane at least initially uh, just to, to minimize uh, taking up all the space in the bag but they're waterproof and uh, liners so that's the extent of the uh the packing here and i'm going to show you the two bags that all this is going into so there they are this is the osprey it's a 46 liter bag uh it's a porter 46 it has a small little rip in it i know they'll fix it if i send it back in but it's forming great and it's not a problem so i'm just going to move on with it and then the Athuli, I like this bag. It's, it's not the biggest bag in the world, but it has a nice compartment for lap, my laptop. And this will fit underneath the seats on all the aircraft that I'm flying on. This one, of course, will not, but it does fit nicely in the overhead bin. Some flight attendants may give you a, a little bit of grief about this not fitting, but I've had this on a, a multitude of airlines around the world, and it has fit in all of them. KLM, Air France, Delta, uh, United and American. Uh, Alaskan, all, all of it. Fortunately, it has also uh, compression straps across the top here, and you can really ratchet this down if you don't have anything fragile in there, which I won't. It'll all be in this uh, compartment here in the Thule. So that's it. That's the trip. Let I me mean, know what you think. So here is the before. You can see roughly the width there. All right, and there we are. We've got it zipped on all sides there, and uh, I mean, it still is bulky, but not nearly what it was before. So it does save on packing and the space in the, in the bags. So there it all is compressed to the tech stack. I just need my laptop uh, computer here. The one thing I forgot to mention, I've covered this in another video, is these guys, they come everywhere. Oftentimes, hotels have an excessive number of lights, TVs, smoke detectors, uh, phones, alarm clocks, microwaves, things that essentially ruin your sleep. The ambient light uh, bothers me and uh, many of you, whether you realize it or not. So these little simple stickers are a way to cover up those lights and to improve the quality of sleep.